everyone. Today I want to talk about uh, depression and how to overcome depression. You see, depression is something that, um, you know, maybe we've gone through sometime in our life or we know someone who is battling depression. Please make sure to watch this whole video because I'm going to go through steps that can help you um, or someone that you love uh, to overcome depression. I myself have battled depression for almost all my life. Um, it started from when I was a child. Um, I had this rare face condition where my face would grow more to one side. Um, and this caused a lot of insecurities, a lot of doubt, a lot of self-hate. And um, I just felt like every single time I would talk to someone that they'd be looking at my face and they would be judging me. Um, as you know, when you're in school, this is when you you know want to be um, accepted. This is when you... Uh, develop your social skills this is when you start making friends but my childhood was a little different my childhood i um grew up in shame because i was ashamed of the way i looked i was uh, scared to talk to people face to face because i thought that they were always judging me i have i had self-doubt um i wasn't as open i wasn't able to talk in front of people I wasn't able to live to my full potential. I was very timid. Um, and this, you know, deprived me of a lot of things growing up. I wish I had someone um, to talk to that could, you know, tell me that, um, that I'm not worthless. That, you know, this rare condition, it could be fixed and that I should still, um, you know, help self-love. And the rare condition that I had, it was fixed. I did get a surgery, um, a jaw surgery to correct my jaw. But even after I had my surgery, I was still a victim of depression. Even though my face looked normal, I still had the old mindset that I'm still not good enough. Um, I was suicidal. And it's not something that I am proud of. I've, um, I start taking, um, you know, stuff to try to cope with my depression, but that didn't help either. So I've gone through some steps personally that has helped me. And I want to share these steps with you so that if you are going through any form of depression or someone that you love, that I'm, I hope that you can share this video with them to encourage them. Um, a lot of times depression comes because of our own um, self-doubt. And these are just the things that we make up in our own mind. And in reality, um, <laughs> they're never true. So I have a passion to help others. And um, I know my videos are probably not, um, you know, like other people's videos, professional. But at the end of the day, it's the content that I'm more considered about. Not the lighting, not my surroundings, but the content. Because if I can help someone, even if it's just one person, then I know that I've done something good. So let's get to the step. I've written them down because making a video, you know, it's better to write things down sometimes. Half the things I'm just, you know, safe from my mind. But let's get to it. So the first thing that I find that helps is every morning, find 10 minutes. Even if it's five minutes, start off slow, even if it's two minutes. But 10 minutes is, you know, what I recommend. Find 10 minutes every morning to just pray, to meditate, to be thankful. Believe it or not, when you start giving thanks, when you start telling God, that you are thankful for the just the littlest things in life, it starts to change your mindset because it starts making you believe how blessed you really are. Start giving thanks. Thank you, God, that I am awake today. Thank you, God, that I have a roof over my head. Thank you, God, that I'm alive right now. Just start thanking God for the little, little things. Trust me, when you're thankful, it just changes your whole mindset. Number two, talk to someone. I didn't have anyone to talk to 
it's not that my parents were not there for me. I've had, I have the best parents ever. It's just my mom was always busy working and I thought she was too busy with her housework and I just thought that she was too busy. My dad, he was fighting his own demons. So I thought that he was struggling with his own battles, that he won't have time to talk to me. But that's what parents are for. Talk to them. If you can't talk to your parents, talk to your friends. Talk to your pastor. Talk to a professional counselor. When you start telling your story and talking to others, trust me, it helps you. Go for a long walk and exercise. Believe it or not, when you start exercising, it releases endorphins. It creates more serotonin, which is the happy feelings. And you also feel accomplished, like you've done something. Working out is amazing for your health and for your mentality. Take vitamin D. Vitamin D is good for depression. If it's sunny outside, it's a nice day, just sit outside and just soak the sun. But don't forget to take your vitamins, especially vitamin D. Read a good book. When you read a good book, it just you know, puts you in a better mood. It uplifts you. Read books that have um, some kind of content to, um, you know, make you, um, you know, like just how to. Look at books on how to, how to put yourself in a better mood, um, how successful people think. Um, there are so many good books out there. Also start reading the Bible. There is so much on depression in the Bible. Eat healthy. Believe it or not, sugar it um it increases your depression sugar is not good for you anyways but try to eat a healthy balanced diet eat lots of fruits and vegetables and drink water i'm a firm believer of drinking water i didn't drink water before but ever since i started drinking water it just helps a lot quit drinking now this is hard for me i know it was really hard because when you drink, it puts you in, um, you know, this relaxed state and you feel that, um, you know, when you drink, it just uh, takes away all your problems. But that's not true because your problems are still going to be there. You have to deal with the root. Drinking is just like a little band-aid that you try to put over your cut. But drinking actually is a depressant and it'll actually make you feel worse. And when you drink and you're drunk, you're going to do dumb stuff that you're going to regret after. So do you think that's really going to help your depression? No, it just makes it worse. Love yourself. This is the hardest. It's hard when you're hurting inside and you're so depressed to look at yourself in the mirror every day and say, hey, you know what? I love you. Hey, you know what? You're actually special. Hey, you know what? You're actually creative. It's hard, but you need to do it. Look at yourself in the mirror every single day and just say, wow, God really created you beautiful. Wow, you are so amazing. I really love you. When you start doing this, I know it's going to sound silly, but just make sure there's no one else in the room when you do that because then you are going to look silly. But when you start doing that, trust me, it just, it's going to start, like what you start saying is what you're going to start believing when you tell yourself that you're amazing you're going to start believing it when you tell yourself hey you can do it you're going to start believing it believe me it works laugh out loud <laughs> yeah laughing out loud actually puts you in a better mood Watch a funny movie. There are so many good funny movies on Netflix or just, you know, anywhere. Just watch a funny movie, read a funny book, um, you know, watch comedy. Just, you know, start laughing out loud. Make it a habit. Go out with your friends. Um, you know, just, just laugh. It honestly helps your mood. Write down your thoughts. Me personally, I love writing poetry. I love writing songs, and one day I do want to write a book, but for now, uh, um, you know, small steps, I do write my feelings. If you are not artistic, if you're not creative in that sense that you don't know how to write poetry or a song, just get a journal. 
and just write down your feelings. When you write down your feelings on paper and it's in front of you and you read it, it becomes like you're reading someone else's story. And then it creates um, ideas for you how to help this person, when in reality this person you're writing about is you. I know this makes no sense, but honestly, it helps. Write down your feelings and then look at it and read it and just say, why, why am I thinking like this? It will honestly help you. Make small changes. You don't have to make big changes, but these are just small changes, baby steps. You can start by going for a walk every day. You can start by praying for just a minute or two minutes a day. You can start by starting to eat healthy. You can start by drinking more water. You can start by just writing a sentence every day about how you feel. You know, I woke up this morning and this is how I feel. Every single day. These are just small, small changes that you can work on and that you can build to make a better future for yourself. Listen, we are all created on God's image. We are all special. We all have a purpose. We all have a reason why we are here on earth. But sometimes we forget that we are created for a greater purpose and we let our self-doubt, we let our insecurities, we let our fear take over us. Change your mindset and start to enjoy life Start to love life, but this only starts when you love yourself. You cannot help others when your cup is empty. You have to first fill yourself with self-love, and then you can pour this love onto others. I hope this video really helped you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos with anyone who is going through depression right now. Trust me. Um, I battle this all the time and um, I know exactly how it feels because I go through it I've gone through it I feel that I can relate to anyone else who's going through this if you need um, any more advice or you need to get in contact with me please comment below thank you and God bless you